All right, hey, congratulations, Thank Premier, you. for the Tigers Apprentice here at Paramount. I mean, how does it feel for you tonight? It's fun. It's nice to be back at premieres after all the COVID stuff where we couldn't really do anything. And it's always exciting to see a new project. I haven't seen it yet, so I always like to just keep it as a surprise. So I'm happy to see it. And, and plus, this is something different. Um, I, I, I don't know if you did many voiceover projects before. I've done a few, but yeah, this is different. It, and, you know, the animation on this, I know that they had like a, a very specific style of animation, which I think <clears throat> looks fantastic. The story is really great. So, yeah, this is especially exciting. So how did you channel your inner dog? Well, you know, I've had dogs and you just kind of channel, it's it's a little bit like just doing anything as an actor. You try to figure out what it is you're trying to say and then you go, well, how would a dog do it? And then I would just try to do funny dog, angry dog, happy dog, angry dog, how about cool dog, surfer dog? And there was, like I said, there was a lot of chance to just play and experiment, which is really great and really fun as an actor. So I really enjoyed that. And just tried to give them as much as I could and say, here it is and hopefully you find something you like. And I guess they did, so. Now I, I overheard on the line. You're 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 not part of the year of the dog. You are part of what year of the monkey? I am a year of the monkey because you know monkeys are the coolest. I'm sorry. In this movie, the dog's the coolest, but in real life, not nothing's cooler than the monkey. Well, it's because uh, people born that year are most playful, and uh, and that's why you, you have this important profession. <laughs> Absolutely playful and a little mischievous, and you know I'm hoping luckiest, but you know we'll see. Well, and one, one last thing: Why is it so important to tell these type of stories on screen? Well, I think. You know, it's important to tell, you know, my mother's Chinese, you know, so I grew up with the Chinese zodiac and a little bit of Chinese culture. I think it's important to tell stories of America and the world, and America is cultures from everywhere. This is all part of the tapestry of America, and I think it's important to say that this is part of who we are. And I think it gives people a chance to experience it who may never have had a chance to, who didn't grow up with the Chinese zodiacs, you know. It gives them a chance to sort of ex explore that. Maybe that goes farther into other culture, uh, parts of Asian culture and Chinese culture. And I think it just, everything like this that is new for people helps people expand their minds and helps people understand more. And if we understand more, we understand each other better. And I think we're all better off with the more understanding we have. Well said. Hey, congratulations and have fun uh, watching this for the first time. Thank you very much. I will.